Hi everyone, I'm Konita Ari, beauty blogger. Today I'm going to take you through how I get my perfect pout. This is the Essence All I Need Concealer Palette. I really like this palette because it's got a whole bunch of color correcting concealers as well as just like normal concealers. Um, today I'm going to use the green one in the corners of my mouth just to neutralize some of the redness. Um, and then I'm going to kind of mattify my lips using just probably between these two shades. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just to nourish my lips just a little bit. I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour lip balm. Um, it kind of looks like a lipstick but it's a lip balm. So it's super soothing and I feel like I'm someone that really likes matte lipsticks um, especially because I kind of overline my lips a little bit more to kind of make it look a lot more rounder and fuller. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this and kind of just Add some moisture to my lips so that when I do apply matte lipstick it doesn't crack or look kind of flaky so just let that sink into your lips also use your fingers to kind of just like massage it in okay so now I'm going to neutralize my lips and just make it kind of look a lot more flat so I'm going to mix these two together and just using a flat concealer brush or a lip brush um, whatever suits your base, but I prefer you to use a flat brush like this um, and then just sort of go over your lips and it's going to look a little funny now. Okay, once your lips look like this, um, you can just go in with a normal sponge like this and you're kind of just going to blend it in. So you don't want to take the product off, you just want to dab it into your mouth. Like, as long as the base of your face is top-notch, um, any kind of lipstick you can use on top of this is a winner. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Gosh Lip Liner. It's in the color Raisin. I'll start at the corners of my mouth and then always just keeping the pencil right to the very end here so that you always have a light touch to it. And the trick is to contouring your lips to make it get a full effect is to start with your natural corner of your mouth. But then as you get to your cupid's bow at the top here, don't follow your natural line, just go above it. So just slightly above it. There we go. So you can see that's where I overline so that it looks a lot fuller and that's where my natural line is. Still keeping my natural line in the corner here, only overlining at the top. So if you're happy with the shape that you've created, you can go ahead and start filling your lips in. So still sticking to my theme of creating around a fuller lip, you would kind of ombre your lip. So start dark in the corner and then just feather those brush strokes out towards the inner part of your lip. So it goes from dark to light. Alright, so you can see I've got darker corners leading to the inner part of my lip and it goes a lot more lighter. So I've just lightened the brush strokes to the center of my lip. And by doing this, I'm leaving it lighter at the center is just going to create that kind of fuller effect. Don't worry if your lines are not perfect because you can always go back in with some concealer and kind of just clean it up and kind of smudge the lipstick to the very center. Today I'm going to use lip, liquid lipstick because it's my absolute favorite. I'm going to be using the Smashbox uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with the liquid lipstick like I did with the lip liner on, this, on the outer corners of my lips. And then I'm going back in with my ring finger and just tapping the center of my lip so that I kind of add that ombre effect and keeping that soft lighter area to the center of my lip. 
I'm really happy with the shape of my lip, so I'm just gonna go in and clean up the edges of my lip because I don't want it to look too messy. I just want it to look super, super perfect. So I'm gonna go back in with my concealer palette and my concealer brush and probably just mixing these two again. Just cleaning up the lip. And this is specifically why I like a flat concealer brush that tapers to the end like that because it's nice and sharp and it gets in right into the corners. All right, I'm happy with how the cleanup looks. It just makes my lipstick look a lot more cleaner um, and it's definitely gonna give me that perfect pout look that I'm looking for. Um, and then to finish it off, I'm always ending off with some highlighter and I'm using the Yardley HD highlighter. It is in a kind of crayon-like pencil form, um, so it's very easy for me to create dimension in my lip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to accentuate the Cupid's bow at the very top here just by drawing two light lines down here and then just in the little nook right there and you can go back in with your ring finger and kind of just dab it okay so I'm just dabbing that in and that's it that's all I do for a perfect pouch. You can keep your lips matte like I do if you like or you can add some gloss to just give it an extra effect I really like matte lips, so I'm going to leave it as is and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.